there's been any response, reaction around football to this loss of one of their own. Well, obviously, Rand, you can imagine what the reaction is. Everybody is completely shocked, devastated, and in disbelief uh, that somebody this young uh, and this gifted could lose his life at this age. It's it's so uncommon to see. And any time something like this happens, everybody is stopped in their tracks because they just they can't believe it. And I think the people on the football world this morning can't believe it. And that, that's the situation with Dwayne Haskins here, uh, losing his life in South Florida, um, which is obviously very, very tragic. Again, Adam, understanding the freshness and the, the, the newness of everything here, any word from authorities in the area about criminal charges possibly against uh, the other driver in this incident? Yeah, again, Ray, th th literally just got the news here within the last half hour or so, and so I, I would imagine there's going to be a police investigation, there's going to be a police report, there are going to be people on the scene that understand what's going on uh, better than I do right now. Uh, what we do know is, again, my understanding is something along these lines that he got out of his vehicle, he may have run out of gas, that is unconfirmed, got out of the vehicle uh, along the highway uh, and got hit by another car. And so people looking for something nefarious or uh, anything like that, that's it, just not the case. Just one of these things, tragically, that happens on the side of a road that police are investigating, that I, there will be a police report on this, and we'll learn more about it at that point in time. All right, Adam, we really appreciate the insight the time this morning on SportsCenter AM. Uh, Adam Schefter with the very latest there. Haskins, as we said, the 15th overall draft pick in 2019 uh, for the Washington football team, now the commanders, and he you know, spent three seasons in the NFL. He's with Washington and most recently with Pittsburgh, where there was seemingly a real shot to compete for the starting job once again. Ben Roethlisberger retires. You have Mason Rudolph there. Maybe the possibility of drafting a quarterback here uh, later this month in the NFL draft. But Haskins, as Adam said, was down in South Florida working out with his teammates, going through drills with them, with his eyes on the starting quarterback job. And the last time he was a starting quarterback for the entirety of an NFL season, you go back to a rather uh, football season, go back to Ohio State, through for 50 passing touchdowns, still the most in a single season in Big Ten history. Very sad news being reported there by Adam Schefter. Dwayne Haskins killed at 6.37 a.m. on a Florida a highway, a highway in South Florida, as he was there, you know, in South Florida, working out. It's being reported, you know, meeting with teammates and everything, getting focused to get back out there and win that starting job with the Pittsburgh Steelers this year, which I think was definitely going to be his, uh, for sure. This guy was a hell of a talent, man. If, if, if you recall, things went kind of bad between him in Washington. But man, I totally forgot uh, with the Buckeyes, Ohio State in 2018, third in Heisman voting, 50 touchdowns. How did I forget about this, guys? I, I'm like, coffee, 50 touchdowns. How did you forget this? We see a lot of players who knew Dwayne Haskins uh, reacting here. Eric Ebron, tight end. He said, Haskins, bro, I love you. I'm sorry, little bro. Um, TJ Watt, the world lost a great person today. When Dwayne first walked into the locker room, I could tell he was an upbeat guy. He was always making people smile, never taking life for granted. His impact on me will last a uh, forever. Um, this is from Kent guard Mike, Michael Thomas, just a picture, you know what I mean, of him with Haskins. Uh, Joe Burrow, tough to find the words. You will be missed. A picture of him and um, Dwayne Haskins uh, shaking hands. I believe that was last season when they played Pittsburgh. And um, yeah, comment, guys. I think most would agree. Uh, I mean, Pittsburgh may have drafted a quarterback this year, but I think that job was going to be Dwayne Haskins. As we know, Ben Roethlisberger retired. And man, this just, you never, it's, it's always uh, shocking and very sad when you hear of, a, you know, someone, losing their life at such a young age um but just man you, when you hear the circumstances what happened it's just so so sad like jump in the comments guys uh you know i'm sure we've all seen stuff like this i know i have when i'm like driving on the highway i've seen people walking and stuff like that and i'm always like man be careful you know people fly people fly on the highway and don't pay attention people are just reckless you know what i mean um they don't really know what exactly happened, why Haskins uh, was walking. You heard Adam Schefter 
saying we don't know if he had ran out of gas or what exactly um, happened, but I'm sure that's kind of all what we're thinking. It had to be some kind of car trouble. I wish he would have just called AAA and chilled and waited. I don't know. Don't want to play the coulda, woulda, shoulda game. It's never really good to do. Um, just so, so, so sad. Dwayne Haskins fans, get in the comments. Um, you know, share your share your favorite memories or big games that he had. Again, I don't know how I forgot about this 2018 season in Ohio State. But, oh, man, um, rest in peace, Dwayne Haskins. Very beloved individual. You know, those are just a few of the guys reacting. The, the whole football world is just heartbroken and devastated by this. Uh, another NFL story that I just wanted to go over real quick with you guys is the Honey Badger uh, speaking about how he is heartbroken that the Kansas City Chiefs decided to move on from him and sign a uh, younger safety, Justin Reed, that they signed to a three year, thirty one point five million dollar deal. Um, and, you know, he's talking about how that deal is, uh, you know, a pay cut like a four mil four a year per season four million dollar pay cut for him but he would have took it you know he's saying he wanted to finish his uh career in kansas city and even was saying that his fiance like doesn't understand how hard he took this almost sounds like he's depressed i was kind of surprised to see the the chiefs move on from him but i don't know comment comment guys what do you think did he lose a step would you like him on your team? Like on your team, is he an upgrade uh, in your opinion? I guess he recently met with the Saints and the Eagles. So possibly maybe a deal in the works with one of those squads. I think he'd be a good fit for Philly. What up, Donna? Shout out Donna Stitz. Long time uh, viewer of the Jay Coffee Talk channel. She's an Eagles fan. I swear that I don't think I've ever heard a player say something like that. Man, I would have took... I would have took the contract that they gave, t you know, to the guy that they signed after I'm out of here. But, uh, you know, the agent does all that. So, but um, just some light news uh, to get into after this horrible, tragic news of the passing of Dwayne Haskins. Let's talk in the comments, guys. It's Jay Coffee Talk. Stay tuned. More content coming as always. Music, news, sports, current events, life, and much more. Never take life for granted, guys. Talk to you later.